Hello, have you encountered problems with Google Docs not being not having files available in it while offline? I'm using the Galaxy Tab S6 here, a large tablet, 10 and a half inch, and I've been encountering problems with Google Docs for approximately a year while offline having access to my files. However, as of 28 June 2021, I've noticed it's gotten much worse, and I've encountered the same problems on other brands of devices where I hadn't before, and I've gone through all the standard procedures of clearing cache from Google Docs and Google Drive to try to remedy the problem. I've even gone to the trouble to uninstall Google Docs as well and reinstall all of my files. It has not worked. I am presently offline and I'd like to demonstrate my files which are not available. I have them listed in the order of the last modified so the ones I have modified will be at the top of the list. There are eight files in the two columns here I do not have access to because I've modified them since the version 28 June came out. And each and every one I've modified is not available. Yet I modified them with this tablet while I was offline. So the files were actually on this device and Google Docs will either not allow me to access them or they took them off of my device. Seems like a pretty poor design to me. It could be just a problem as, is, as has happened over the past year. I've had problems with my Samsung Galaxy tablet here. So I'm going to exit Google Docs and I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi which will turn the baseball symbol first on row there way off to the left and blue. And you can now see a similar symbol up in the notification line way off to the right next to the 100% battery level which indicates we're now online. I'm going to go back into Google Docs. We're in Google Docs here. Look at the, the first file there, the movie blank dash dash blank W. The symbol to indicate it's offline had in, changed to a synchronizing symbol. This, usually, this will happen ver with the various files in here. Sometimes through the various versions over the past year, I've noticed this happens continuously over all the files, and it repeats and repeats and repeats. There is no section in Google Docs to tell you which files have been modified and need to be synchronized, or which files from other devices you've used have been stored onto Google Drive and need to be synchronized, or files that you share the need that will get updated. There is nowhere in here. I could tap the three dots at the end of the top file there. I can make the file offline. It's got a green check mark with a line underneath it. I can share them. I can manage them by changing the name of the file and so on and so forth. How about I make this file not available while offline? It comes up with a little message. This file no longer will be available while offline. And the symbol at the front of underneath the title of the file there's a little check mark, is no longer there. Now if I hit the three dash marks, I'm going to hit make available offline. 
file will be made available offline. It doesn't say when. And as I said, said a moment ago, there's nowhere to check to see when it is available offline, what status it's in, other than you when you open up Google Docs. Should you happen to be on the file that when you open it, you can see that little symbol saying it's synchronizing. That is it. And when, as you saw, it's not available. Even after it's synchronizing and after it's been on my device. Google Docs has a very bad design. It doesn't give you the information you need. So, let's see what the other options are here. Well, we could go share it somewhere. We could share a link to a lot of good. That's going to do. We've got a code saying a link to this file. Um, how about we download it? What do you think downloads? Do you think it's going to speed up the synchronization, put it back on my device so I can have access to it through this app? I'm going to hit download. Anybody done, done this before? Check to see what happens when you hit download. Good. It took a moment there. And I bet you if we go check notifications up here, it says our file has been downloaded. If it's been downloaded, it doesn't need to put a notification up here to say if it was going into Google Docs because it's going into the same app. It's not. I'll turn the Wi-Fi back off. We'll just check that. The Wi-Fi is now off. Nope, it's not available to Google Docs. It's not in Google Docs. But it is has been downloaded. I could use the notification to go into it, but I find it more convenient to use my file manager here. I'm using FX File Explorer. I'm going to go into Recents. See where my most recent file is. There it is. That's the first file listed there. Movies. Blank dash dash blank W PDF. I'm going to hit that. It's going to give me a few options to view it. Ah, what the heck. We'll use Samsung Notes to see what it looks like. Well, I do have access to it. The whole thing is there. Well, not the whole thing. There's actually a code on the bottom there with a emoji. Emoji. It's not on there. And the, the bottom there's on the bottom line there. It's not in there. Some viewers will show things like that, and some viewers won't. They will show other things missing too, such as photos, perhaps uh, indentations. And links may not show depending on which viewer you use. It may take some exploring to find the proper viewer to use it. However, I do have access to my file while offline. It may not be the most recent version of my file, and I'd have to manually go in through the process of actually making sure it is the most recent version of my file if I modify it from Google Docs or from some other device in Google Docs. And I may also have to move it around to somewhere where I might be more convenient to find and view. So Google Docs isn't working offline, at least not now. So I'm going to remove that. I don't need my file explorer open. I'm going to go turn the Wi-Fi back on here for a moment. There, our Wi-Fi is available. I have something in recents there I want to show you. Is Google Docs in the Google Play Store. And there is part of my review of it. From the most, for the most recent version. I don't know if you want to read that. You might have to come back to it and pause on it if you want to read the section of it. Or you can look it up in Google Docs. But let's go into about the app. 
And here is the version that is causing the major problem. And when the update occurred. So if you're encountering problems with Google Docs, I hope you can find this video on YouTube. I had a great deal of trouble finding anything about problems with Google Docs. I ended up going to a bunch of Google information which was not helpful to me. Uh, this might offer you some help. If not, it will indicate to you, you are not the only one encountering this kind of problem. So thank you for viewing.